Today, we're going to create a card with no stamping. Y'all know I love bling and shimmer, so let's get to it, shall we? I'm Jen Lee, and you're with me on my Gentastic journey. So I started out by pulling out some of this beautiful design paper, and I've also got some linen-looking design paper as well that I thought would coordinate. And I'm trying to find two pieces that are slightly different, but that go well together because I'd like to create a little cutout that I'm going to use to open that folded part of the card. So I like the pink flowers quite a bit and I'm those are going to be the main design paper and then I'm going to use probably that blue flower. The blue flower is absolutely gorgeous and I think that would be great to cut out and use that to open up that fun fold. So I'm going to start by cutting out the inside of the card and the two side tabs. So I'm just measuring it out and then this linen looking paper, I'm trying to decide if I want that pink color or if I want a blue color. And I end up going with the blue color. Now I'm just going to use my pencil and make some marks on here. I don't like to do a lot of measuring as you all know and I just use those pencil marks so that I can cut down the design paper with my paper trimmer. And I'm going to have this blue with just borders on the right and left hand side. Now I'm going to assemble the inside of the card. I'm using a tape runner for most of my card work today, which is not my norm. Most of you know I am a glue girl, but I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a go. I like to sometimes try and get out of my norm. Now that I have my very organized craft space, I can find all my tools, so that makes it a lot easier for me as well. If you haven't seen my craft room reorganization redesign, I will include a link to that in the description box below, so you guys can take a look at that. It's actually my most popular video. It was a great idea, and I'm loving this new organized craft area. Now I'm going to work on that outside flap. Like I said, I'm going to have that blue flower is going to be right there in the center to pick it up and you're going to use it kind of like a tab. So I'm trying to determine how I'm going to best not cover up all these beautiful pink flowers. And I'm going to make sure to use this blue paper, but I want it to all look like it's one piece of paper from the outside. So I'm just going to put that blue paper on the left side of the first outside flap, and then I'll use the design paper next to it so that when it's closed from the outside, it'll all look like one big piece. This card is fairly simple. When you have beautiful design paper like this, it makes a card fairly simple. This is for my beautiful daughter, Morgan, and I wanted it to be really pretty, and I wanted it to have lots of bling and sparkle, so we'll make sure that we hit all of those. The design paper itself is absolutely gorgeous, and I just love it. There's like loose pearls all over it. There's pearls and gems inside of the flowers, so we'll be able to add embellishments and, and make that look just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So again, lining this up just to make sure that I know exactly where I want that blue flower to go so that when I glue this down, it's going to be where I want it to be without covering up too much of the flowers. I wanted this to go right up to the edge, so I turn it around so I can get a better handle on it. And then this is the blue flower. I'm going to cut this out with my Tim Holtz small precision tip scissors. And I'm going to be sure to include some of these pink flowers as well because that ties in the pink flowers that are already in the background of the design paper. All right, so I've cut that out and it's going to go perfectly there and it won't cover up too many of our other flowers. Now I just want to have a little bit of a background as well. Can't decide if I want the same design paper or if I want that blue paper. But I do end up going with the blue paper, not the mauve paper. And I just kind of hold it there and I'm going to use my same Tim Holtz small precision scissors to just cut out a little bit of a border there. I'm really enjoying this linen looking paper. It doesn't have any texture to it when you feel it, but it looks like it has a lot of texture, especially with it being near all this floofy, flowery paper. I think that's going to look really good like that. So I'm going to glue this flower down with my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. Those of you that have been watching my videos, you know this is my favorite glue. I love the nozzle. It's a super thin application. It dries really well. It dries matte, so it's definitely my favorite glue. So this, the back of the design paper is quite a bit lighter or brighter white than the off-white cardstock that I used. And I'm going to cut the inside panel and it looks like I'm going to use every little bit of this design paper, which when you have design paper this pretty, you want to use it all and not waste any of it. So I was super happy about that. So I'm going to cut that little panel and I'm going to also cut another panel of the blue so everything coordinates really nicely. 
Okay, and then as I, I'm just making some marks here so I know where I'm going to have that flower sit. And then I also wanted to know what part I needed to put the, because the back is so stark white, I do need to cut a little of this design paper off so that when you look at it from the inside of the card, you aren't just seeing that backing that is super super white especially because I used an off-white card base. It'll also make this just a little bit sturdier so now it's got three pieces of this thinner design paper and then I'm going to use just because I trust my Barely Heart craft glue I'm going to use that to adhere that to the fold and I'm going to jostle that around and look how pretty that looks by just putting a little bit of the design paper on the back of it so that really finishes it off well. Now for the bling. So I took out just some clear iridescent gems and then also some of these brads because there's such a big gem on the inside of each of these three flowers on are on the front so I thought I could add some color and then these littler gems I could put those where the little pearls are I have different sizes of them but now that I shuffled my paper around I did it did get a little bit blurry so I'm gonna speed this up super fast so you don't have to look at it being so blurry but I wanted to show you how I put the brads in and then anywhere there was a pearl on the design paper I'm adding some of my barely art precision craft glue and I'm just gonna add gel of all different sizes. Some of you like those wax tip applicators for your gems. I just struggle with them and I'm always dropping them so I do a lot better with just my little craft tweezers. They serve me well. And then gonna put in my last little brad here. I had three sizes of the gems and that worked out perfectly. Now I'm taking my tri-blend markers made by Spectrum Noir and I'm just coloring that little edge because it's got three sheets together so it just ties it all together. It looks more finished. Then I print out sentiments on my computer, print them on my printer. I like to cut those out especially when I need a very small sentiment so I don't want to cover up all these beautiful flowers and so I'll just stick that in there. Now my sentiments are on a very bright white paper. My cards base is actually off-white. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put some of this design paper as the background and then I decide that I want to color a border out of my tri-blend markers instead. So I'm using just some post-it masking tape. This tape's great if you want to just create your own border with some markers. I have not had anything bleed through and it's fairly inexpensive. And then that just white still looks a little bit too white to me so I am going to cover the blue up next and these tri blend markers dry really fast so not an issue at all and then I decided to use one of my pink so the lightest version of the tri blend markers I'm just gonna put a little pink in there so that nobody needs to know that it was white bright white and this is nice and small so I just put that up on some foam tape just below those gems and I think that came out just gorgeous with all those gems but because I love a sparkle and I think Morgan will love some sparkle I took out my Wink of Stella marker or Wink of Stella pen and I am winking the heck out of it <laughs> And then I even put more on there and then just keep going to town because you can't have enough sparkle. There's lots of different brands of these shimmer pens or sparkle pens and they add a lot to a card. So I think this turned out really pretty and I love all the bling. I love the sparkle. The camera doesn't really get all this the sparkle from the Wing of Stella, but it was fantastic. Thanks for joining me today as we created this beautiful card. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you would please subscribe to my channel and that way you can see future videos. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I create my content and I do create two videos each week. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.